you came across this question in the jam exam how will you solve it it's actually very easy now let's solve together the question says the structural formula of ethanoic acid is now they are asking us to locate the structure of this compound called ethanoic acid and it is very easy now let's solve together remember in my video lessons where i've taught on organic chemistry because this particular question is from the topic in chemistry called organic chemistry i've explained that a compound specifically an organic compound with one carbon should be pronounced as met okay i've said this many times an organic compound with one carbon should be pronounced as met well an organic compound with two carbons should be pronounced as et do you understand well an organic compound with three carbon prop an organic compound with four carbon buttes an organic compound with five carbon paint an organic compound with six carbon eggs an organic compound with seven carbon hepts an organic compound with eight carbon opt an organic compound with nine carbon none and lastly an organic compound with 10 carbon they should be regarded to as deck so in this context of this question you will observe that the organic compound they are asking us to locate the structural formula is x do you understand so this will tell you that this compound should have two carbon so let us say you actually don't know what this compound is all about or the family to which this compound is from you can actually eliminate to get the answer to this question now let's do the elimination method before we now go in depth to solve this question remember i said that it is x then it should have two carbons so looking at the compound from different direction what we are looking for here is the compound with two carbons so option a how many carbon can you see one so should this be ethanoic acid no so this is out do you understand option b option b how many carbons does it have it has two carbons so then this can be ethanoic acid i don't know now but don't worry as we solve i'm going to explain the correct answer to the question whether for option c how many carbons does it have it has three carbon so definitely this is wrong as well this can never be my answer this can never be the answer to this question which is the structural formula for ethanoic acid and lastly option d has two carbons also so then this can be the answer so we've eliminated two of the options remaining two so let's deduce which of this compound should be ethanoic acid and now we have to understand where ethanoic acid is from the homologous series or the family to which this compound is from now ethanoic acid belongs to the family of organic compound called alkanoic acid please note this it's actually very important ethanoic acid belongs to the family of organic compound called what alkanoic acid you can see the ending name noic noic no, no, so they are of the same family, and alkanoic acids are also called carboxylic acids. Alkanoic acids are also called what carboxylic acids. So, if I don't call it a, a, a alkanoic acid, I'll call it what now carboxylic acid. And they have listen, they have their general formula to be this RO C O O H do you understand please note this is very important so the general formula for this group of compound is what rocooh arrow signifies a group called the alkai group as we progress to solve this question i'm going to explain something to you but now let me write out the structural form to which this can be expressed please listen carefully so this is a structural form to which this can be expressed so me writing it you can actually locate the answer to this question just watch carefully so the structural form so i want to draw a structure out from this so it is arrow the structure means that i will show the bonds do you understand the bonds holding the element together so this is arrow bonding to carbon which is this and now for alkanoic acid this must be noted 
carbon is bonded to this oxygen with a double bond please note this is very important carbon is bonded to this oxygen that you are seeing here with what a double bond this is how it is written whereby carbon is still bonding to this oh which is this as well are you getting my point so this is the structural form of the group of compound called alkanoic acids so then with this we've written we can actually locate our answer to this question it's actually very easy do you understand it's actually very easy so the next thing we do is to draw the structural form of this compound then we locate our answer though i've already seen the answer because if this is the general formula for ethanoic acid you know we use this to actually locate the group a compound should belong we use this last part are you not seeing last part which is carbon bonding to oxygen with a double bond one two double bond and bonding to oh with a single bond so looking at this ending and looking at option b and, and option d if you observe which one corresponds to this it is what option d do you understand this is the answer to this question this is ethanoic acid so let us draw the structural form of ethanoic acid it's actually very easy remember i said that ethanoic acid contains how many carbons two carbons so let's draw together so this is ethanoic acid remember we said we should contain how many carbons two carbons so let's draw together so let's use this part of the board to draw ethanoic acid okay now ethanoic acid should contain how many carbons two carbons so carbon will bond to carbon we've written down the carbons do you understand now remember all of these guys same all of these compounds majorly they came from a, a group of organic compounds called hydrocarbon meaning that they should contain hydrogen and carbon majorly and other special elements that distinguish the type of compound the compound should be so my point here is this and another thing you have to know here you have to know that carbon is tetra valence meaning that it should allow just four bond to surround itself so this is what i mean so this carbon let's draw our four bond around it do you understand you can see we've drawn the four bond for this first carbon we'll come to this other carbon we are trying to draw the structural form of ethanoic acid though we've already seen that this is the answer because of the last the functional group that's word because of what the functional group it looks like this so this should be ethanoic acid but let's confirm if it's actually ethanoic acid remember ethanoic acid should contain how many carbons two carbons so which we just did so let's progress so which other element should contain a hydrogen hydrogen because in this aspect of chemistry we in which is called organic chemistry we deal more with carbon and what hydrogen do you understand so all of these should contain hydrogen so my point is looking at this carbon how many bonds surrounding it i said it's four one two three four so let's work with the hydrogen h h and what h do you understand so the next thing we do now how do we know that this compound should be ethanoic acid we have to basically impute the functional group and the functional group already we already know it is what c o o h do you understand c o o h and this is the c already and oh, oh remember i told you that this carbon is bonding to this oxygen with what a double bond which i've done and this same carbon is bonding to o h with a single bond this is ethanoic acid do you understand you can see the way they wrote here they just condensed it this part that is c h h and h you can see they wrote it as ch3 so it means that they condensed it so this is actually ch3 c h3 we have three hydrogen surrounding carbon there and the last bond bonding with the other carbon atom i believe you understand the point i'm trying to make about forming the structural formula for ethanoic acid actually very easy i believe now from all what i've said so far you now understand the concept about how this answer was gotten first of all you do your elimination remember x should contain two carbon so any other thing in the option that contains more than two carbon it's out already it's out already so i believe now this video lesson was helpful to you so if you find it helpful do well to click the subscribe button to my channel if you're watching this video on youtube if you're watching it on tiktok do well to click on the follow button and also share with your friends so get ready for your own practice question so if you find this lesson helpful do well to click on the subscribe button and also share these lessons with your friends thanks for watching